Let's we take had a look oil, at oil and the oil said. I mean, as the market turned, look at that turn in oil, man, on the same exact deal. So the oil slide begins at actually 8:30. We make it all the way up to 54.35. And we make it all the way almost down to 53, 53.06. We're trading at 53.23 right now. We'll pull up the oil contract. I'm going to refresh this to make sure we have all the up-to-date spreads. We get into crude. Let's check out the 11 a.m.s first. We're trading at 53.19. We're going to have 53.25 with possible exposure. Not, bad. Not yeah. bad. We're only seven pennies away from the floor and the ceiling. So here's your bullish spread, 53.25 up to 54.75. It's going to be seven pennies out of the money. You're buying it, you're paying 18 bucks. Basically, you're getting in at 53.43, which is 18 pennies above the 53.25 floor. Again, all of that uh, premium, no intrinsic value out of the money. And then on the bearish side, if you want to have both legs of it, make it a volatility trade. The difference being that, yes, this trade we're going to have. I just want to make sure, yes, we this trade we have intrinsic value, three pennies. It's moving quickly. That's what threw yes. me off because this one's only 23, this one's 18. Um, as they recalibrate. So you're looking at about $43, $45, call okay. it with commission. So you need 45 cents of movement away from 53.25 prior to the 11 a.m. to break even. And to see where we line up, let's see where the spreads line up on noon. You might not get the same exact point. You do, 53.25. All right, so the bullish spread, this time costing us $25 because we got an extra hour. It's not bad for that extra hour. It's not. With the type of volatility we're seeing, you're looking at 26, and that's because we've ticked up almost to within a penny of where we're at. So you're looking at pretty fair trades on each side, as in the only thing to keep in mind, you have three penny spread here. You have a six penny, five to six penny spread on the bid offer on the sell. But you're looking at about 50 cents of movement, $50, which represents 50 cents of movement in the price of oil prior to noon. I mean, not bad. We just got a buck 30 movement right. without the news even coming yet. And then let's see how the 230s line up before we jump over to the whisper and see. So we'd have $54. You could have exposure on the daily and $54. So those really don't line up too well. I mean, if you wanted to go bearish, not a bad trade, as in you cap your losses about 75 cents above where you are at least, right? You're able to sell it. 54 to 49, just kind of putting out trading ideas. You want to be bearish, not a bad trade. If you really were worrying about getting a pop, you're able to sell it at 53.16. 10 pennies below the market, and for selling it 10 pennies below the market, you get a risk reward where you're capped if oil does somehow right. spike higher right. um, to $54. Not sure you're going to see that spike today with how that's pulled back, but we'll find out in uh, and let's see what we got here. seven so, minutes when we get those oil numbers at 1030. Yes, and so 53.14. Look at this. So this didn't hold price today. It's been, oil's been on a one-way track, no doubt no about boy, that. Right? Yeah, so I'll, I'll go with it. It's going to go 52.13. So okay. you'd be a little bearish yeah. continuing that yeah. trend. Looks like it wants to go down and test that baby. So pulling up the whisper number, we got crude market looking for us. So the analyst survey number, average analyst estimate, a rise of 1.2 million barrels. The whisper number, a little bit lower, only looking for a rise of about 670,000 barrels. If you'd be bearish, you'd be looking for more oil in right. the market, bills. right? Right. So where are we coming in at? Let's put a guess in there. Uh, let's do uh, over 1.2. Okay. Let's say two. Two? Yeah. Two on the dot. Yeah. Two million barrels. Sounds good to me. Nice, nice even number. Two million barrels. Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is a monster number. We'll see what oil has done. Uh, Huge number, right? Top line number, crude oil inventory is rising 3.55 million barrels. We saw the estimate, right? 1.2. Whisper was about, about a rise of 600,000. We right. put in there 2 million. Gas inventory is rising 1.2 million barrels. Jumping back to the charts to see how we're reacting to that number. And we got oil above 54, I believe. Uh, excuse me, below 53. Yes, that would make sense. More right. oil than we are. I just saw it ticking around. Not too big of a reaction, though. We no, were at 53.23. Not, not for what you're talking about, 3.5 million barrel yeah. build. And maybe the market saying, you know what? Um, it's been down dramatically. It has. Yeah. You know, right. it's down a buck 30 over the last two hours alone. And a few million barrels, not a big deal when the market's really trying to understand how the economy is going to be shaped by oh. the coronavirus. I mean, you have air airlines the, shutting down flights, right? They're all using crude oh, oil, yeah. gasoline. Um, let alone the slowdown, Chinese plants, cities, production capacity, all that stuff. I think that's uh, what's weighing on crude. But still a reaction, 
But look at that, man. Right back up, 53.15. No yeah. real reaction on that news as oil sitting right above $53 right now. Okay. And one last check on oil. Higher prices, no matter what, man. Higher prices. 53.37, the price of that March crude. There you go. Stay right there, folks. we got TD Ameritrade coming up next. And I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks.